Gervonta Davis dropped a bombshell on the internet by releasing his scary training footage. It has left everyone stunned and speechless. You could really tell Tank is giving his all before he locks horns with Frank Martin in their upcoming bout. His impressive training has been making a lot of rounds on the internet and has even attracted attention from fans and boxing professionals, including his opponent, Frank Martin, also known as The Ghost. Now, if you know one thing about Frank Martin, it's that he's not one to get scared easily. After all, there is a reason why this guy has zero losses on his record. While Frank Martin seemed impressed with the training footage, it did not strike any fear in him. Uh, you know, I got I, I feel like he opposed a lot of challenges, you know. Um, you know, he a, a balanced fighter, well-rounded fighter. So, you know, he, he going to bring the best out of me. The, the saying goes, you know, somebody's O has got to go. What do you pose to him to go in there and do something nobody's done to hand tank his first defeat? Uh, you know, I feel like I feel like I got a lot of things that, you know, him, the world, a lot of people may not expect that I got, you know. So um, I'm just ready to go in there and, and capitalize off of the moment. When you look at the odds, obviously they're going to favor someone like that. Do you even do you even put that in your mind, or do you embrace that? Because if nobody's giving you a chance to win, you get to get to shock the world. People can make some that, money with you. That shit embraced, you know. I, like I say, I say, bet with me, win with me. You know, like that shit is one of them things. Like I embrace it. You know, I'm 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 eating off of it. You know, it's fueling me. So it is what it is. You know, it ain't gonna change. So. You know, I just got to go out there and, and do the unexpected one. Somebody zero is definitely going, and according to Shakur Stevenson, it won't be Gravanta Davis. Yep, he's seen the training clip, so he knows what he's talking about. And not to mention Shakur and Tank have a heated rivalry, so if Shakur is backing up his arch nemesis as the favorite in a fight, then it's got to be legit. Before I let you get out of here, man, I only got you for a couple more minutes. Um... You know, Tank Tank keeps talking about with this Frank Martin fight. One one thing that's going to catch up with Martin is you started at 15 years old, 16, whatever it was. I started at seven or eight. And do you agree with that sentiment? Because you started at that age, too, around seven or eight. Do you have an advantage over a guy? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I agree with that. I, I mean, he's not lying. Um, honestly, the way that I look at that fight, it's just levels. Like his levels to the fight. Um, Tanky gonna go in there, fill him out, figure out that he's really not on his level, and then he gonna annihilate him and feel like he on top of the world because he annihilated somebody that's a C level. Now, if I were you, I would not take the words of Shakur Stevenson lightly. According to Floyd Mayweather, Shakur is the most skilled fighter in the scene. He understands the game like no other. And let's be real. Tank annihilating Frant Martin isn't too far-fetched. And we haven't even come to fight night yet, and Tank is already throwing hands. Yep. Things got pretty heated during their press conference. Once again, things heating up already for this main event, the WBA. Lightweight Championship of the World. Fighters, take your seats. We'll have a chance. Now we know what happened last time when Gravanta Davis was going ballistic during a buildup of a fight. Yep, Ryan Garcia saw the worst of it. The last thing you want is a guy like Tank gunning for your head. Ryan Garcia did it, and well, his night ended with him on the canvas. Speaking of Ryan Garcia, that guy has definitely seen the clips, and let's just say he liked what he saw. Because what happened next completely shocked everyone. When this fight announcement surfaced on the internet, 
Ryan Garcia gave his predictions right away in favor of Frank Martin. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with Frank because I'm gonna be there every step of the way and put him on game. Like this is what he likes to do. This is what he will do. Boom, boom, boom. He'll end up stopping Javante? Nah, I don't. Want, I want to. Never know. However, Tank's impressive training footage did enough to change Ryan's mind as he posted a tweet saying. I will bet one million that Gervonta will co-Frank Martin within seven rounds. I love Frank, but the truth is the truth. I know what you're thinking. Weren't Garcia and Martin friends? Well, they were until they weren't. You know, um, it you know it doesn't seem like there's bad blood. It seems like it's a lot of just competitive fighting spirits. So um, a person who I thought maybe stable mate was really cool was Ryan Garcia, who made his pick on social media and kind of switched. Um, he's also made some comments like he's not your friend um, because maybe he wants to fight Earl and you're with Earl. Um, is that Ryan just helping promote the fight? You know how Ryan is? Or is is, is, is there some truth to like you guys don't really get along? I mean, anymore? nah. Like, nah, he was he was cool. You know, he was cool. But like me, I, I don't care what he said. You know, I wouldn't get on and talk down or, you know, like he went from all oh, Frank, from his, his first conference, all oh, Frank, go in that to Frank gonna get I bet a million dollars against him like that shit's fake to me mm -hmm. you know like I don't I don't fuck with people like that you know that's fake I don't care if it's promoting building that shit's fake you know so I ain't I ain't with all that like I'm the type of person I rock with who I rock with and you know that's why my circle be small how it is because it's too it's, it's fake you know like even with him saying that I still ain't going down talking bash his name I'm it is what it is, you know? Let him lose his money. Yep, Frank Martin was not too happy about Ryan switching sides all of a sudden. But hey, Ryan is not the only one who thinks Tank is gonna wipe the floor with the ghost. Former American boxer Tim Bradley gave his two cents on this much anticipated matchup and according to Bradley, Gravanta is gonna be keeping his undefeated record. Well, but I, I think that Frank, I think that Frank, what's, what he's lacking is experience. Mm -hmm. That's what he's lacking at. You know, he got to be able to put he got to be able to put rounds together, and I don't see him being able to do that. That's the problem. You know, put rounds together, build on his work. You know, and that's that's because of the lack of experience that he has. Um, in the later rounds, I worry about about Frank in the later rounds too, where you have a guy that's comfortable and he don't mind playing catch up. See, that's the thing right. you don't realize that. You know, he's an apex predator for a reason because he sets traps. He'll wait on you to make that mistake, and he'll line you up for that shot, and he'll finish you with one, yeah. one punch. He only really needs so one. That's all he needs is one, and clean on that chin. And I think Frank makes makes mistakes, and he makes mistakes late, where you have a guy like Tank to be able to expose that. So I say Tank possibly late, late stoppage, but in the beginning it's going to be interesting because of the speed of, of Frank Martin. Mm -hmm. Speed speed in and out, you know, he's going to be he's gonna be sharp early on. But... As the fight goes on, all the hype, this, the hype around the fight, all those bright lights, and just that presence of being in there with Tank, the guy that can punch it hard with both hands, bro, it's going to gas, it's going to gas out uh, Frank, Frank Martin. I don't know about you guys, but you can't count Frank Martin out just yet. He's got the athleticism, he's got the speed, and he's surely got the confidence. And one thing you gotta love about Frank is that he knows he's the underdog. He knows people are gonna be betting against him. And this only makes Martin more dangerous. Uh, underdog yeah. here in Las Vegas. They do. He's a uh, minus 700 on the Sports Big Odds of Vegas. Uh, what's your thoughts on that? I mean, I keep telling people, bet with me, win with me, you know? So it's motivating. You know, me being an underdog, it's, it's nothing that I ain't used to. You know what I mean? It, it just put a, it put a whole lot of fire underneath me. You know, I got I got a lot of fire underneath me from prior, you know, situations or whatever. So, you know, just the doubt of, of me not being able to people saying that I ain't ready for this this moment and um, just my skill level. I'm I'm a, a certain level, you know. So this right here, one of them one of them situations where I can show everybody, you know, and, and it can't be it can't be denied, you know. Like with Rivera, everybody doubted me. You know, yeah, I got credit for it, but it's it's, it's different. This different know from the Rivera like people people was high on Rivera but when I beat him like I got a lot of recognition but it was like it was nothing but when he was when he was winning he was the he was the next guy 
He was the next guy that everybody didn't want to fight. But when I beat him, they gave me recognition, but not the recognition that, you know, if, if he would have beat me, he would have got. You get what I'm saying? So, you know, they downplayed that win. So this is a win that won't be downplayed. The only thing they can say is, oh, well, uh, Tank ain't never fought a fighter like that before or whatever. But they can't, they can't really downplay it because he is who he is. You heard the man. And get this, Tank Davis is not the only one with the crazy training footage. Now those combos are looking sharp and deadly. There's one guy, or should I say one of the best in the game, who's got Frank Martin getting the job done on June 15th at the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. And that guy is the one and only Errol Spence Jr. Yep, that's right, the truth has picked Martin as the favorite going into this epic matchup. See him getting his hand raised. I mean, I feel like he, he he's, the most skilled, talented fighter that that take every fault. Like it's one of those he can't he can't take those early rounds off and feel like he's gonna come in the seven, eight round and hope for a knockout. I feel like Frank gonna dominate him first through twelfth round and win a fight. I mean Tank gonna put up a fight. You know, he's a great fighter, but I feel like <clears throat> Frank definitely gonna take it. I feel like He's the best fighter. He's the fighter. He's going to see the speed. He's going to see the, the strength. He's going to see the power that Frank brings to the table on fight night. And now to add more to the Frank Martin hype train, take a wild guess who's he training with. Well, it's a hard one to guess. The man helping train Frank Martin for his upcoming battle with Tank is Floyd Money Mayweather. Now that really kicks things up a notch. I remember you talking about doing the pad work with Floyd and he said, you got the speed and the power to be a world champ. What did that do for your confidence? You can hear that from anybody, but Floyd is Floyd. It was just motivation, you know, cause at that time too, man, I wasn't even, I ain't had an IQ yeah. that I got now. So at that point I was just really going off natural athleticism. So for him to tell me that at that time, getting deeper in my bag, trying to Shit. understand the game. It's not like basketball where you got to depend on people. It's not like football. Like the work that you put in reflects directly with your results people don't even know the amount of hours that y'all put into this yeah we ain't got no backup we got a bad day whatever we ain't got nobody to come you know come through for us it's all on you isn't that interesting having floyd train you is the best thing that could happen to anyone going into a fight with gervonta davis if you're one to keep up with boxing you'd know gervonta davis and floyd mayweather go a long way back gervonta has picked up most of his skills from floyd so having Floyd in your corner gives Frank Martin a considerable edge over this fight. This is a much closer fight than it seems to be, and it's surely getting heated by the moment. What makes this matchup even more interesting is that these two guys can't stand the sight of each other. Talk. 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 Your brother probably is, Talk. but not you. Talk. You not, you not, you not that. You not that. You not that. And I know for sure you not that. You not that. You not that. I'm talking here. This is my shit. I'm talking here. I'm talking here. Let me come on, baby. I'm talking here. This is my shit. This is my shit. Like, after this fight, after we 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 fight, after but get this, this isn't their first skirmish. These two have locked horns in the ring before for a friendly spar, which turned out to be not so friendly at all. What's crazy about all this is that word on the street is Frank Martin got the better of Tank Davis in their spar. Now that's something you don't hear much often or at all in the case of Gervonta Davis. Like we was fighting. When I, when I hit him with that shot, and he grabbed and got to grab and all that. That's when we got to like, mm. you know, we got to just fight. That last round, they broke it up. So like, 
I'm thinking niggas finna, we finna bang. Like, like outside. Yeah, yeah, like, I'm thinking we is. So I hurry up, get out the ring, go change my clothes, and then I get interviewed as soon as I come back. Yeah. And I'm like looking like, like where you know, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking he was gonna try to sneak me yeah. or something, but it was, right. it was a little off, you know, like, so I feel like he thought he was gonna, he was gonna do me how he did them. And it was, it, it wasn't, I wasn't go. You know, you pull up. Did he hurt you in sparring? Nah. I feel like I seen him say. He, he, oh, you saw that interview? Big cap, <laughs> big cap. <laughs> I know you seen that interview. Where yeah, he I said, seen it. He, he said, said, he said, he said something. So maybe he heard him like I said before. Big cap, like yeah. big cap. So did you feel like you heard him? Was he? Was you in your head like, oh, I just hurt Tank? Yeah, man. I heard that nigga. Yeah, uh, facts. Yeah. Ooh, it's not a lot of people that can say that, Frank. I'm just, I'll let you know. Not a lot of people that say that about Tank. Now, this topic has become a hot conversation in the buildup to this fight, and both guys even had a heated argument on it when they were both interviewed together. Million dollars worth of game. Where in your mind did you say, I'm going to fuck Tank up? <laughs> he in a spot that I want. You know what you I gonna mean? Finish like, yeah, he going to find out. The spawn, look, this is the thing. He didn't touch me up. You were scared to get in the ring. Where your man's at? Was he scared to get in the ring? Yes, he was scared. Bro. I was scared to get you in the ring. That, brother. And why didn't you Not show me that. that footage? What footage? He showed you something. Some bullshit. I think you won't come yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. You won't have pop like yeah, that. Okay. June 15th. I know where I'm going to be at. Where My you going to be at? Always in the front row. Pay-per-view. Amazon Prime. If there's any truth to this spar and how Martin Peace tank up, then we might just witness the greatest upset in the history of boxing. The way Tank has been talking, he gotta back it up like he does always, or else it's gonna be dark times for him. Cause Tank even took shots at Martin's girlfriend. Him so don't got nothing you don't know me. You don't know me. Fuck but, you talking but, about? But, but you the little female crazy. he got. That's that's the problem. But that little female he got, well, she probably around here somewhere. <laughs> I'll catch up with him. La, 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 Wait, la, hey, la, hey, 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 hey. Little female. The, he, hey. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, with that, let's move on. Listen, this is a tremendous fight. Now that's surely crossing a line. But hey, when you're talking about a guy like Tank, there is no line for him. He's got 29 victories with zero losses. Every time he talks, he backs it up. Teofimo Lopez, another great fighter in the scene, also gave his thoughts on how this fight goes down. Me, uh, Tank Davis, Frank Martin, who you yeah. got? How do you see that fight um, play now? I think that if Frank Martin goes and presses Tank Davis without showing him any respect, then we should see a different type of outing. However, if he comes in there just respecting the power and the hype behind Javante Davis, then um, I believe that'll be an early night for, um, for Frank Martin. See you, bro. Great to see you as always. Frank Martin is the underground, and that has been the general view. The fans have also given their two cents on this bout, and the majority of them don't see Martin hearing the final bell. One of the fans posted this on X. Good stuff. Even though the odds are stacked atop Frank like a mountain, I'll say this a solid win for Tank no matter what my heart thinks. Another fan tweeted, Tank cherry picking another fighter plain and simple. You can't sleep on Frank Martin. This guy is undefeated for a reason and he's ready to showcase his skills on the highest level. This is his break or make moment. And if Frank Martin gets the job done, it'll go down in history and we'll have a new king of the division. But hey, Tank is Tank. He's gonna come out blazing and if he sees Frank make a slight mistake, it's gonna be night night for Frank Martin. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned and we will catch you in the next video.